Hi there. It's June Simmons with Online Sales Pro. And sorry, already. It's four o'clock in the morning. Um, I just got off work. So um, I'm going to make this one quick tonight. I'm just really tired. So today's my day 88 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge. And it. It should have been day 38 of the Facebook training that I'm doing, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, I'm, I'm, or this morning, I'm just exhausted. I had to work my, my little butt off Ugh, tonight, so, um, but I just wanted to, I didn't want to miss this, and... I just have to con I have to continue to stay consistent with this. So, um pretty excited about this new book I got in the mail. I thought I'd share it with you. Oh, that light is crazy. Okay. Anyways, it's from Tony Robbins. <laughs> I hate that light. Uh, is that better? Not really. Anyways, it's Money Master the Game. And, oh yeah, it's a pretty thick book. Actually, but I can't wait to start reading it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can share some of it with you real quick. Just read the first little bit of it to you. Okay, chapter one says money. Few words have the power to provoke such extreme human emotions. A lot of us refuse to even talk about money, like religion, sex, or politics. The topic is too taboo at the dinner table and oftentimes off limits. In the workplace, we might discuss wealth in polite company, but money is explicit. It's raw, it's garish, it's intensely personal and highly charged. If you make people feel guilty when they have it or ashamed when they don't. But what does it really mean? For some of us, money is vital and crucial, but not paramount. It's simply, it's simply a tool, a source of power used in service of others and a life well lived. Others are consumed with such a hunger for money that it destroys them and everyone around them. Some are even willing, willing to give up things that are far more valuable to get it, like their health, their time, their family, their self-worth, and in some cases, even their integrity. At its core, money is about power. We've all seen how money can have the power to create or the power to destroy. It can fund a dream or start a war. It can provide money as a gift or wield it as a weapon. It can be used as an expression of your spirit, your creativity, your ideas, or your frustration, your anger, or your hate. You can be, it can be used to oh, influence Governments and individuals, some marry for it and then find out its real price. But we all know that on some level, it's an illusion. Money isn't even gold. Or paper today. It's zeros and ones in banking computers. What is it? It's like a shapeshifter or a canvas assuming whatever meaning or emotion we project on it. In the end, money isn't what we're after, is it? What we're really after are the feelings, the emotion we think money can create. The feeling of empowerment, of freedom, of security, of helping those we love and those in need, of helping of having a choice and of feeling alive. Money is certainly 
one of the ways you can turn the dreams we have into reality in life. Into the reality we live. But even if money is just a perception, an abstract concept, it doesn't feel the way that way if you don't have enough of it. And one thing is for sure, you either use it or it uses you. You either master money or on some level money masters you. How you deal with money reflects how you deal with power. It is an affliction or a blessing, a game or a burden. When I choose the chose the title of this book, I a few people were actually outraged at the suggestion that money could be a game. How could I use such a frivolous term for such a serious topic? But hey, let's get real. As you'll see in the pages to come, the best way to change your life is to find people who've already achieved what you want and then model their behavior. Want to master your finances? Find a financial master and imitate how he or she does what he or she does with money. And you will have found a pathway to power. I can tell you right now, I have interviewed many of the wealthiest people in the world, and most of them do think of money as a game. Why else would anyone work 10 or 12 hours a day? They've made billions of dollars. After they've made billions of dollars. And remember, not all games are frivolous. Games are a reflection of life. Some people sit on the sidelines and some play to win. How do you play? I want to remind you this is a game that you and your family can't afford to lose. My promise to you is this. If you will stay with me and follow the seven simple steps in this book, the steps that have been distilled from the world's most successful financial players, you and your family will win this game, and you will win big. But to win big, you have to know the rules and learn the best strategies for success from those who have already mastered the game. The good news is that you can save years of time, and in a few minutes, by simply oh, learning the pitfalls to avoid and shortcuts to experience, Experiencing lasting success, the financial industry often works to make this topic feel incredibly complex, but in reality, once you get past the jargon, it's relatively simple. And this book is your opportunity to stop being the chess piece and become the chess player in the game of money. I think you're going to be very surprised at how, with an insider's understanding, you can easily transform this financial life and enjoy the freedom you deserve. So let's get to it. Just imagine what life would be like if you had mastered the game already. What if money didn't matter? How would you feel if you didn't have to worry about going to an office every day or paying the bills or funding your retirement? What would it be like to live your life on your own terms? What would it mean to know you have the opportunity to start your own business or that you could afford to buy a home for your parents and send your kids to college or have the freedom to travel the world. I like this book already. How would you live your life if you could wake up each day knowing there was enough money coming in to cover not only your basic needs, but also your goals and your dreams? The truth is a lot of us would keep working because that's the way we're wired. But we do it for a place of joy and abundance. Our work would continue, but the rat race would end. We'd work because we want to, not because we have to. That's financial freedom. But it is a pipe dream. Oh, but is it a pipe dream? Is it really possible for the average person, more importantly for you, to make this dream reality? Whether you want to live like the 1% or just have the peace of mind from knowing that you won't outlive your savings, the truth is that you can... Always find a way to make the money that you need. How? The secret to wealth is simple. Find a way to do more for others than anyone else does. Because more value. Become more valuable. Do more. Give more. Be more. Serve more. And you will have the opportunity to earn more. Whether you own the best food truck in Austin, Texas, or you are the top salesman in your company, or even the founder of Instagram. Okay, well, I'm going to leave off there, but, yeah, 
Super excited that I got this book in the mail today. All right, guys. Well, oh, yeah. So I have to work again tomorrow. Um, like I said, this was day 88. And I will see you back here tomorrow for day 89. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow, it was really dark, wasn't it? <laughs>